You can now copy your NFC access card into your Samsung phone and unlock your door. But does that mean that anyone can just steal your card and put it into your phone? Or even worse, steal your phone and unlock your door? Well, we're going to find out in this video. So what happens when someone tries to copy your card into their phone? When you scan your card into your Samsung wallet, you'll be asked to create a four-digit PIN. This basically partially encrypts your card. And this is what happens when someone tries to copy your card into their Samsung phone. You click on plus, digital keys, add NFC access card, click on add and place the card on the back of the phone. All right, we see for gone through. So click on OK. And this is the part where you need to key in the security code that we already set for the card earlier. So which is 4356. And let's name this home. And voila, officially now this card is already in this phone. So this is the Galaxy S25 Ultra that we used to set up this card with initially. And clicking into this, at the bottom here, we'll be able to see the eighth D6 that we copied this card into earlier. And also other users that have access to this card. And just in case you forgot the security code, you can always refer to this. But remember that we specifically mentioned partially encrypted and also a Samsung phone. That's because the encryption only works within Samsung wallet. So here's a real me and let's see what happens if you try to copy your card into this phone. Click on add and place the card on the back of the phone. And see, you don't even need to set a pin at all just to copy this card over to the phone. Also, you can use the NFC card data stored in the Samsung phone and copy it into another phone. All right, with the card selected, we're gonna click on add on this new phone and then, voila, the card's ready in this phone. All right, click on next and you're basically done. Well, this NFC card duplication thing isn't new. There have been specialized devices for this and even shops that offer this service, like when you need to create a spare card. Currently, Samsung Wallet doesn't require any authentication for you to use the card, and same goes to the Realme. And in fact, with the Realme, you can use the card even with the screen off. It's basically the same way how you don't need authentication to use your physical access card, unlike bank cards where you need to key in a 6-digit PIN. If your NFC card required a 6-digit PIN, it wouldn't be convenient, right? That said, we hope Samsung will give an authentication option to those who need it. But if your phone is stolen, you can wipe its data remotely. And if you lose your card, you can contact your card issuer to have your card cancelled. Do you have any other questions? Do leave it in the comments below. If you lose your card, you can contact your data issuer to have it cancelled. Data. I see data.